<laughs> take uh, it away. Um, my play is about an artist who um, he's hasn't been successful for a little while. He's got a kid on the way and a new house, and he is visited um, by some paintings of an old friend of his in the form of his old friend's girlfriend, and the old friend has disappeared. So it's about his relationship to this work of this disappeared friend um, and the girl that comes with it and his increasing stress about starting a family and living in this house as the work uh, ascends. He's visited by paintings? Well, he's visited by a girl oh, who okay. has paintings. <laughs> okay, okay, exactly. <laughs> the paintings don't <laughs> The paintings don't come knock. out of nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's a play about magic paintings. <laughs> okay. I thought so. Uh, my play is similar. <laughs> no. <laughs> my play is about a father and daughter who spend an hour, uh, actually a lifetime really, um, picking each other apart and their um, problems with each other. It's set now and it uh, imagines what would happen if the young man, um, the little boy from A Raising the Sun, uh, was an adult and had a daughter who wanted to be a playwright. Uh, the North Plan takes place in a police station in the Ozarks. There's some sort of unspecified national emergency going on in the outside world, and uh, uh, this Washington bureaucrat has been arrested, and he's in jail in this police station. Uh, he claims to have the enemies list that this ruthless new regime is going to use to start arresting people in the country. And uh, the only people he can find to help him get that list out into the world now that he's in jail are the denizens of Lotus, Missouri, who he tries to recruit in the revolution. And that's basically the play. Creatively, I guess, seeing other people's work mm -hmm. when it's really good, I mean, that's very inspiring. Um, you know, fills me with a desire to do better. Uh, spiritually, my wife. Mm. What was the third one? Emotionally. Oh, emotionally, my wife. <laughs> like spiritually, <laughs> my wife. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> my dog. My dog. <laughs> uh, uh, I have no idea. Okay, I, I, well, well, I, I didn't know that. Of course, family. Yeah, my, my son and my wife are uh. extremely spiritually and emotionally rewarding. And I think, also just building on, what Jason was saying, you know, I think seeing someone like really committed to something artistically or politically or whatever, um, with little regard to sort of fortune or fame is, is, is inspirational. I guess I'm turned on by all three of those things at the same time. Um, by my wife? <laughs> my wife. Hey, by your wife. My. And his dog, actually, <laughs> and son, um, all together. Uh, no, uh, I think challenging work turns me on and I just mean work that I think that I could never have done mm -hmm. uh, that's sort of outside of my worldview uh, and that's surprising because you, we, we see a lot of theater and there's so many stories that you know we see so something that actually stands up among those is actually interesting to me.